Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video! Alright, today we are going to be checking out another Tekken character trailer. Tekken 8, I should say. Um, Evo Japan is going on. We just recently had the finals, completed the finals for Tekken 7 at Evo Japan. Congratulations to Arsene Ash, by the way, who is the winner, defended his Evo Japan championship, and all of the people in Top 8, because it was hype, they did a great job. But yes, so two characters for Tekken 8 were also revealed, and the first was Leroy. I already did my reaction trailer to him. He actually looked really cool. I got hyper than I expected, um, so check that out if you want to see my reaction to Leroy. And then the second, as probably no surprise to anyone, but our next lady girl character to join in the roster for Tekken 8, Asuka. Of course, a Kazama, so I don't think this is a huge shock to anyone. This is a character that I was completely and totally expecting to be in this game. I think probably most people were. But nonetheless, it's still hype to see what she's going to look like, what she's going to play like. So um, I'm looking forward to checking her out. Let's check out the trailer together. There we go. All right. <sighs> Oh my god. Get the giant panda in the background. Oh, she looks cute! She looks cute! I don't know about those shoes. Spirited Peacemaker. I- She looks cute! Like, I still don't know about those shoes, but I like the little beret. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hold anything back. Come on, cousin. She's looking kind of fun to me! Sidestep, yeah? <laughs> oh, jeez. You idiot! Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Oh my god. All right. So there she was, everybody. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. First of all, let's talk about the design. Because I think... I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a lot of things to say about the designs for every one of the characters, of course. But the outfits and the you know, appearance in terms of design for all the female characters, I'm sure it's going to get a lot of scrutinization. It usually happens for every game. Um, um, I know, like, the Nina one, there was a lot of chaos. I thought that Nina looked really sick, but then there was a lot of people that were calling her Karen and were not necessarily pleased. And then there was a lot of people that also kind of felt like her outfit for Nina was a little bit too much uh like at once like that she should have a few less pieces and i can see that i can see that so looking at asuka i kind of think i mean i personally i really like the beret the cap i think that it looks really cute on her i think her face looks really pretty absolutely like super cute pretty adorable um i think a lot like cuter than it looked i would say in Tekken 7. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone, but I didn't think she looked the cutest uh, in Tekken 7, and she's supposed to be a cute schoolgirl, so... And they definitely gave her the schoolgirl vibe. I'm not sure about the full-length sweater dress uniform sort of thing, but it doesn't look bad, and the textures on it look really good. They get, did a good job with that. I'm not super 
sure about the shoes, but this is just, like I said, this is the level of nitpicking that I've seen other people doing <laughs> in terms of the designs. And so I don't want to go that far because when you actually see her, then when I push it to when she's actually in game, I think she just looks cute. And so I'm not really so bothered by those things as much. So she just looks cute. And I really, I really like the idea of having the beret. I think it goes pretty well with her hair and everything and makes her look, well, it's not totally a beret either. It's kind of like a berayish cap, like a newsboy cap almost. And I think it looks good. I think that works. Um, so yes. Asuka is a character that I never really was necessarily interested in playing. I don't know if partially it's kind of just like the schoolgirlish personality, the little little girlish kind of peacemaker character is not necessarily the one that I'm the most drawn to out of all the female characters. Um, but I actually think that her gameplay style is one that would probably fit me pretty well. And so it's kind of weird. I probably should consider giving her a try. And I definitely think that she looks more interesting to me from what I've seen so far um, in just this little preview than she did in Tekken 7. So I'm definitely more interested in trying her out here than I have been in the past. Um, like I said, her gameplay style, you know, is, is more like defensive um, and I'm a defensive player so she would certainly be an appropriate character for me to check out so may give her a try when I get my hands on Tekken 8 I would say that definitely out of the characters that they've shown so far I'm still mostly drawn to June um, and then Xiaoyu but I do see I, I could see myself I could see myself trying her out and possibly playing her um, and I didn't really feel that way about her in Tekken 7, so... I really like this, so I think this trailer is a success for me overall. Like I said, there were some things that, like, I didn't necessarily like. Even though I think her face looks really cute, I do have to say that I kind of still feel... I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but I feel like a, a lot of the... the female characters still are just kind of... How do I explain this? It's not that they all have the same face, which in Tekken 7, I legitimately felt that a, a large number of them had the exact same face. Like if you went into the character customization screens and you just changed their hair and you gave them the hairstyle of one of the other female characters and the outfits of one of the other female characters, they'd look almost exactly like them except for their, their stance. <laughs> like they'd be hard to tell apart. I don't think it's that bad nearly not nearly as bad here they've got some different facial shapes they have different eye shapes um things along those lines so it's definitely they're more distinct which is a huge upgrade but i also do think that so far they all just have this like super smooth perfect like skin with no like defining like no major defining facial features so they have like different-ish face shapes, but not that different that you would normally see or that you would see or that you do see among the guys who, if you look at their faces, they've got a ton of expression and you can see like crinkles in the corners of their eyes or like by their mouths when they smile or on their, you know, normal, normal human lines and things. And they very much are still not doing that with the girls. Um, so I think that would be something they still could want to work on. But maybe that's just me. But I do think she looks really cute. So I'm happy about that. All right, I think I've babbled on long enough in this trailer. I would like to hear you guys' thoughts about her, about her new design, about her gameplay. Are you excited to try her out? Um, what have you noticed that stands out to you or that appeals to you in some way? Oh, I like the little, I like the little tie clip. I just noticed that because I'm looking at her. <laughs> I'm looking at the still of her here. Um, and who do you think will be next? And who do you want to see next? I've said before I'd like to see Julia. I'd like to see Lily, um, especially some some of my friends are big Lily players. And I know Dream is waiting anxiously to see her. Uh, so I would like to see her for them. And yeah, want to hear from you guys too. So got to wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time.
Bye.